What's up guys, this is Walid. This problem is the ice and silver. That's a really basic problem too. Just a lot of math in it and just switching variables. Alright, so we have this cube of ice and we have silver. I think it's uh, buckets of silver. So it has a temperature that's started on, let's call it TI, temperature of ice, one. And then they want us to know what's the final temperature. Okay, the silver, it has a temperature too. So they want to combine the both of the system and see what's the temperature results in it. All right, so the ice is gonna go to first to water, to like before it melts down. So we're gonna do M ice, C ice, specific here for the ice, delta T. This is the T is between the ice before and when it's almost melting plus the latin heat of the ice times the mass of the ice okay so this one is to go from ice to here's liquid liquid and in between here it's going to change from ice to liquid this is the heat that's required to change it from ice to liquid so the liquid, we're going to do the same thing, mass of the water, which is the same as the ice, um, times specific heat of the water, times delta T. This is going to equal to the heat of, um, of the, what's it called, the silver. So mass of the silver, specific heat of the silver, times delta T. Okay, so they gave us the masses of the water, and they gave us the mass of the silver. They gave us specific heat of the silver, and they gave us the temperature of the initial one. Okay, but let's just go through it really quick. So my mass was 6 for the ice, specific heat for the ice was two zero through zero. And then the temperature is gonna go, there's a T final minus T initial. So T final was the 273. This is where the ice is gonna, it's like the critical point where it's melting or not melting. Negative TI, the initial is 263. This is the initial temperature of the ice. This is below um, zero Celsius. The lat heat of the ice, which is 3.33 times 10 to the power of five. And this is times six, which is the mass of the ice. I'm gonna add to it. Plus mass of the ice times specific heat of the water for 186 because now here it's water, it changed from ice to water in here times the change in temperature so T final, the one we're looking for, minus the 273 273 and this is going to be equal to the mass of the silver 16.8 and then specific heat of the silver and then the temperature temperature final minus 1052 I think this one should be here Hmm. 
I think all of the equations should be equal to zero, which means the whole of this phrase should be negative. Okay. So if the whole phrase is negative, that means if you change it to positive and keep it on this side, this is gonna just switch those guys, this one here and this one here. Okay. Because the whole the whole thing is equal to zero. So that makes sense, because I, I think I flipped those in my question, minus t final. And then that's how I got my answer. Okay? Alright guys, if you have any questions, just let me know. I know it's a pain in the ass to do this math problem in it. But if you didn't get the right answer, just switch those guys in here. Okay? Uh, see you in the next video.